Hey, 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 Marianne here, the crotchety clogger. Hey, D. <laughs> Thank you for coming. It's nice to have somebody in the house. <laughs> so what's up with you? Oh, you know what? I will be right back. I meant to turn off the air conditioner so it wouldn't be such a loud roar. Uh, hold on, I'll be back. There, whoopty, as I trip into my chair. Ugh. Handles on projects bags get in your feet's way if you're not careful. Does that sound better? It was quite a roar, wasn't it? And I'd forgotten to cut it off. One of the, you know, those window units, they are, they can be mighty loud. Well, Dee, I sure am glad that you um, fared well on your second dose. I feel like I did, too. I just slept a lot. <laughs> uh, excuse me. It what? Okay. Well, maybe I can keep it on. Some, You know, I can't even, like, if I'm in here and I'm listening to something uh, on the computer, if I've got the air on, I can't even hear the computer at uh, good enough at, at the biggest, largest volume it has. But look what I've been making since I got your package. Uh, well, yeah, I'll show you. You got, you have to, see, you ha in order to appreciate it. I got it underneath on my stool. Here, another two strands wound up. Hold up. Okay, so when I saw the summer nights, I was hankering. Oh, hello. We got HGs in the house. Y'all snuck in on me. Hey, Laura Lee, what's up? Hey, HD. Hey, Jan. I was just about to show D what I've been making with. Uh, she sent me some. Well, I'll tell the story in a minute. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Whew. It's not, it's a pretty day today. It is really a spring day today. It is not too hot and not too chilly. In fact, I thought about doing this outside today, but back in the shade back there, I would have had to put on a, a little jacket, a little sweater or something, and I was like, eh. <laughs> That's good, Laura Lee. She's doing okay. Beautiful in Idaho today. Good, good, good. I don't know what the temperature is here. Let's see. Is that right? It says 66 degrees here. Special weather statement of for what? What's the special weather statement about? Oh, dry fire danger. Don't be burning nothing outside. That's what they're telling you. It's still cold where HD is. I should know where HD is. I've mailed you a couple packages. <laughs> 48 degrees, mostly cloudy. Sunny and 60 something, I said, didn't I? Well, y'all, hey, Elaine. How are you doing, Elaine? 68 there too, Laura Lee. In Idaho. Idaho, 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 Idaho. Donine, hello. Hey, did you get the pocket shawl fixed for your boy's teacher in one day? Less than a day? I hope you did. I was thinking about you. I was like, Lord, if if I don't have children, but if I'd had a children and asked me to do it that quick, I'd be like, nope. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know where you said that. Was it in? Where was? Where were we? <laughs> you said that. I don't remember. I can't keep up where I go. I should put some hand lotion on, eh? You had it done by noon. Well, that's not too bad. 
that's wonderful. I mean, in my book, there's no way I could have done a whole shawl in less than two weeks. <laughs> hey, Judy. How's Judy doing? It's difficult to use thin thread when you're knitting HD. Boy, but Don Donning, I think that was, that was a hustle, wasn't it? No, you don't give up. You never give up. Never give up, HD. It was number 100, so it was meant to be. <laughs> number 100 pocket shawl was meant to be for Donnie. <laughs> Went to her boy's teacher. Hey, Maribel. I need to do something about my cuticles. They look terrible. So do my feet. <laughs> Y'all don't want to know that, do you? <laughs> Needles are making you hurt. When you're knitting, it seems like there's so much more. I mean, I don't know because I don't knit, but I would think there's a lot more uh, shoulder and this kind of stuff going on than it is in crochet. Am I correct in thinking that? Like more shoulder and arm and elbow things going on. 100 shawls. That is an accomplishment. Yeah, I, I never actually, I don't like to get, I like to get pedicures, but I just, until my fingers in a camera up close i'm like oh gosh i never <laughs> I, I never really bothered with my nails i got to keep them short anyway <clears throat> the worst thing's having fingernails when i can't mesh the strings on my fiddle you know you can't do that with fingernails so i got to keep them short You're crazy to do. No, you're not crazy to do so many. If anything, Donnie, now you certainly know how to do them. And I would say you were an expert in them. So today you're doing something different. A dragonfly poncho. Well, there you go. Needles are sharp and slippery for HD. And Laura Lee's doing a piece I have to count stitches. I think I'm going backwards more than forwards. <laughs> <laughs> she's frogging more than she's gaining. Oh, hey, you know, Laura Lee, I've done that. I don't know how many times. Hey, Kathy, hugs to you. Thank you for coming. Mimi Cat Do's in the house. We could use a few more thumbs, according to my up here. Ain't but 11 people here, but that's okay. I don't mind. Oh, so yeah, Laura Lee plays the guitar. Good. My husband plays the guitar, and he plays the mandolin. He's a lot better on the guitar. Roll with it, melange. Love the color. What color are you using, Donnie? Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, HD. Hey, Wendy, thank you for coming. Y'all, uh, you know when Granny D showed, uh, no, what we did it? Oh, there we go. Oh, when, uh, Gra when Granny D showed these summer nights things that she got at the Dollar Tree in their Dollar Tree Plus aisle. It wasn't just a dollar. It was three dollars. When she showed these, I started salivating. I really did. So I went to about four different Dollar Trees, <laughs> and they don't have the Dollar Tree Plus aisle. None of them did, and at one of them, I asked them if they were going to get it, and they said, no, those things are more expensive, and I thought, well, I know, but, you know, and she's like, no, she didn't think they'd get it. So I don't know if we'll ever get it in anyone around here or not, but when Dee showed these, I was like, can I please have some? Because I tell you, and she sent me some. Thank goodness. Thank you, D. Thank you, D. Thank you, D. Because 
I had some of this uh, chain spun. I got this at Ollie's quite a while back. They were on sale for $1.99. It's called, it's probably really old stuff and, and discontinued. It's called Modern Baby from Line Brand. And it's a, it's a three weight. And these balls are 173 yards. And it's made out of, uh, I don't know, 50 acrylic and 50 nylon. Okay, so take a look at that gray. Well, what's the color? What do they call it here? I don't know. There's a sticker on top of it. I don't know what they call the color, but it is a gray, and it's a very dull gray, but I wanted some chain spun, and when I saw it at Ollie's, I was like, whoa, <laughs> I need to get some, but it's such a icky color. I mean, look at that. So, when I saw this summer nights, I thought, yeah, put this one weight with this three weight, and it, it'll be, so check it out. I haven't been able to put it down. I don't know if y'all can see sparkle. I bet y'all can't see the sparkle. I wish you could. But it looks so sparkly. So when you put this up, can, now can you see the difference? See how much, I don't know, you can't tell. Anyway, the shawl looks a whole lot, I don't know. It almost has a lavender tint now with this with this summer nights in there anyway i'm this is the uh man-made paradise shawl from bag of day and uh i am i'm i'm addicted i can't put it down i can't put it down hey samantha who did i oh there's dana hey dana <laughs> i know i missed somebody and amanda hey Thank you, Dee. I really did want something to put with this with this gray. And and you cannot really see it in the camera. I wish you could. But it's so pretty. It's just such a pretty muted pastel and you can't see it. <laughs> you can't see it. What's well, Laura Lisa? Hey Samantha, thank you for coming. Laura Lisa, the internet's been horrible. Solar flares. Oh, causing interference. Thanks, D. Can you see the sparkle, Judy? Good. I know, right? <laughs> My favorite color is sparkle, too, as long as it don't, like, peel off and go flying away somewhere. I know because I wanted to work with this chain spun so much, and I did. I did quite a bit with it and frogged it out just to see what it, what the texture of stitches would be and if it would really be light and all that. But uh, it, and it is. But this is such a dull brownish gray. And the only reason I got them was because it's chain spun and won't but two dollars. <laughs> Yeah, is it coming across to you as lavender? It's not. It's it's a it's a muted brownish gray. But when you put this with it, this has a uh, light pastel. Everything's pastel in here: blues, greens, mint green, a pink, pastel pink, and kind of a almost a bluish gray in here. And you put that with it, though, it does come. This to me comes across rather lavender looking, doesn't it? But but I'm golly, I've never made a uh I've made rectangular shawls and right now I'm making a it's still on my it's a whip. I'll show you when I'm done with it. But it's uh what do you call asymmetrical, I guess. A uh asymmetrical shawl. Um but I've never made a triangle shawl until this one and it's this is i know when this pattern first came out everybody did it i know but i wanted to do it it's been on my liver. <laughs> and i can't put it down i love it lisa hey thanks for coming how are you doing
I missed Madonna today, but I did look on her community page and she said she was stuck at the doctor's. And she said she was all right, damn it. So that's a good sign. Oh, yes, yeah, Samantha. Thank you for bringing Apollo up. He's, he, yeah. Uh, I guess Granny D's probably already saw this, but he's got a new hat for a temporary short span. <laughs> this is uh, the hat that I did for Granny D's Moss Stitch Challenge. And there it is. And I'll probably do something else, too. But I, did, oh, and guys, I'm proud of myself. This is the first, I love making hats, but this is the first hat I made that I used my own brain and didn't go by pattern. So I remembered about how to increase and I started off with double, I mean half doubles and then started off with half doubles and then I got to the point where I was like, it, that's still not going to be big enough. So I, I did. A double crochet row. And then I started on the moss stitch. Thank you, D. Oh, there's T. Sweet T, sweet T, sweet T. Thank you for sharing. I'll put it. It looks like a bucket hat on Apollo. But he looks good in anything. Yes, I'm talking about you, buddy. You do look good in anything. You actually look really good in a bucket bucket hat. Because that looks like a bucket hat on him. Thank you, Laura Lee. I'll do another one. And and Granny Day, if you want to count two or three of my hats as one one entry, that's fine. Because hats don't take no time, you know. <laughs> I guess you could have said a hat and a scarf scarf set. I started to say a bad word. My tongue's not working today. <laughs> My speech. Hey, AJ, what's up? He's so cool. Apollo, did you hear that? What did I tell you? There's plenty of octopi in the sea. Samantha just said you're so cool. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Not doing too much, AJ. Okay. I go, I'm going to keep showing off my, uh, what's it called? Man-made paradise show. Sweet tea, did you see? I, I started it last night about 6 o'clock after Dee's live, and I haven't been able to stop. I did good so far, huh? I know a hat counts as one. I know. Okay. You know what else I wanted to ask Dee? And for anybody, and I'm going to ask Dee specifically since her moss stitch challenge is going on right now. Um, when y'all do a challenge like that and you include a hashtag, you, you don't want us to hashtag it everywhere, do you? You don't want us to hashtag the same like that hat, I hashtagged it on your Facebook group, the Squirrel Squad group. You don't want us to hashtag it on Inst that same picture on Instagram and like this video. I guess technically I could hashtag this video, but then that, that would kind of get a little like confusing, wouldn't it? But, but is that just my mind? Samantha, which, which triangle shawl are you working on? And thank you. Look up the, what pattern? This pattern, Laura Lee, this, uh, man, oh, it's number, let me tell you, it's back day, I got it wrote down, number 641, if that's what you're wanting to know. Man-made paradise shawl. One platform. Yes, that's, that's what I would think. So, you'll have to be... You'll, it's going to be kind of tough looking it up and then not counting. You know what I mean? If people put it everywhere. <laughs> but, anywho, I'm sure your moderator will help you. Oh, you're making it up as you go. Well, I'm not that good, Samantha. <laughs> One day maybe I'll be. I can make up triangle stuff as I go. But I can't 
makeup. I, there ain't no way I could do. But I'm kind of understanding it. You know. Live and learn. Well, that's right. That's the only way. Yeah. That's all you can do. But yeah. And hopefully it'll be the same exact picture and then it'll be easy to spot, you know. I Well, I guess I'm the type of person that looks at things so many different ways. Some people say it's calling uh, playing devil's advocate. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. I do that. Sometimes I do it too much. But I think where where business is concerned, you kind of have to do that, you know. 641. Oh, gosh, there's a lot. Yes, Laura Lee, there is a lot to look through on her site. And I think this man-made paradise she did like last year. Was it in 2020? May have been before that. <laughs> Samantha, I know. I had to learn, too. A hashtag back in the day. I, I was taught that it was called the pound sign. That's what I always knew it as. Or the number sign. You know, the chink chink. Now they call it a hashtag. Yeah. Search pattern number 641. Yeah, bag of day 641. It'll come right up. That's right. But it's pretty. I think I may have to make more than one. But I got, no, I can't do that. There's just too many things I want to do. I want to do Dana's poncho, and I want to do the pretty wrap that Crystal did to go, and I want to do, oh, I want to do Ruby Baby's, uh, you know, that crossbody cow. There you go. Got it, got it, got it. Ooh, oh, Laura Lee has good question, D. Does Tunisian crochet moth stitch count? Or is it only crochet, crochet? I keep bumping y'all. Sorry. That's a good question. Number sign, pound sign. Yep, that's that's all what I knew it was for. And it never was used much, except you want if you want to say my phone number is. <laughs> Just regular crochet. Okay. Just regular. Regular. She must be having lots of entries coming on in there. <laughs> That's cool. I hear voices. Oh, hold on. Oh, I bet I know what it was. You know when motorcycles ride by and you can hear them they're them talking to each other. Hey Crystal Ricola is here in the house. How you doing? How you doing? Crystal is oh <laughs> I don't know. Was you trying to whisper something at me? No. No. <laughs> it was the motorcycles going by. I could have jumped on that Maribel, but I didn't. I don't think my brain is going to work it today. <laughs> oh, me. So, anyway, Granny D sent me this summer nights. Oh, I haven't even looked at the colorway. Blue Lagoon. It's pretty. I love it. And she sent me, and I've already figured out what I want to do. Elaine's hook on yarn and life. Hey, Elaine. Thank you so much for coming. It's good to read you, meet you. Oh, Maribel's going to miss you, Crystal Ricola, when you go back to work. <laughs> Granny D said it right there. Hey, Ricola. <laughs> And she sent me this one. Look, this one is called the uh, Tropical Punch. And she sent me this. This one's called, uh, don't know, Hideaway. Hideaway Refuge. 
or is that in another language? I don't know, but that's my favorite because I love teal. I mean, I like this one too, but I don't know. Anyway, I've been playing these to go with this, but I think that actually it probably would work okay, but I don't have enough of this. So I'll have to find something else I can put with this. I think a pure white would be pretty. And I have found what I want to put with this one. So I think this will be pretty. Don't y'all put that together. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> so excited. Oh, we got so many people coming in the house. Thank you. His name is his name is Apollo Elaine. And uh, he was birthed by <laughs> Sin at Sin's Crafting World. And there's Sarah from Sarah's Little Corner of the Crochet World. What's up? What's up? What's up? How's your uh, your little lady things doing? You know what? I got to thinking about that. When I saw that blanket, y'all need to go check out Sarah's Little Corner of the Crochet World. She is making a blanket or a throw. I'm not sure what size it's going to end up being. Out of thread. And she's making the, is it octagonal? Sarah, these little beautiful, and she's going to put them together. And they're beautiful. Her own pattern. They're beautiful. Hey, Wanda, the backwards wrong side crocheter. What's up? You driving today, Wanda? You got the yellow and peach ones of these summer nights. Oh, this bag. Uh, Amanda. Amanda, this bag was made by my good friend Susan. Thank you. She, uh, I had uh, last year, towards the end of last year, I bought some fabric from uh, ooh, Cheryl Bolts. You know, y'all know Cheryl, right? She's got a YouTube channel too. Um, can't think of the name of her YouTube channel. But at any rate, I bought some fabric because I fell in love with it. I do have a sewing machine. I'm very inexperienced as far as sewing goes. But I thought, hey, you know, I'll buy me some fabric. I love the fabric and see if someday maybe I'll make me a project bag. Well, I got to think I'll never do it. I'll never do it. So all I asked her to do was make me a big blanket bag, project bag. And I asked her if she, if she could possibly put the clear uh, panel in one side. And she already had some of that. So she said, no problem. And look, guys, what she put on the back. Check this out. It's a notions bag that you can take right off and keep near you. Or, and then you just stick it right back on there. <laughs> okay, cool. I love it. Hey, Amy. No, Apollo is completely crocheted, Amanda. He is a pattern that you can get at Hooked on Sunshine. Yep, he is completely crocheted. Ain't he beautiful? He's beautiful. Everybody just thinks you're so handsome. He's being shy. <laughs> Octangular. Yeah. Sarah, I just think that's this beautiful. And when I think about it, I'm like, I would love to do something for our king size bed. But I'm like, I don't know if I have the patience. But if I could do it in squares or like what you're doing, I think I could do it. I think I could do it, even in thread. It may take forever, but I think I could do it. Always driving, poor old Wanda. I drive a pretty good way to go to work. The pandemic, I only work one day a week, and occasionally I'll work on Saturday, and that's not very often. But... Now that I'm not going to work four or five times a week, I'm getting tired of driving. Is that not weird? <laughs> hey, Tom Mount D. Susan, my friend, she does not have a shop, um, but she's wanting to start one up. Now, she's just recently retired. She was like um, a secretary at the high school. And, um, but she's wanting to start one up. But if anybody's interested, just let me know. Uh, she's 
said that she would, and I posted up here so I wouldn't forget. She said she would sell something of this size and similarity for seventy-five. Is that a good? Is that a pretty good price? I mean, I don't know. And she's also got. Um, she uses an, an invisible zipper. She says she just really likes using. They're easier to sew in, apparently. And she always puts a pocket in here. There's a pocket here in the side. Bolts bags. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and she also made me, I don't know if y'all remember seeing the, the other fabric I got from Cheryl Bolts was the uh, Christmas gnomes. She also made me a Christmas blanket bag, too. And, she, and and little, she made me masks out of the same fabric, which was cool. You got to get me an Apollo. <laughs> Hooked on sunshine. Hooked on sunshine. Uh, you'll have to go to their website. Um, they have tutorials. I'm not sure if the tutorials are on YouTube or if they're just a part of their website. But I think most of their patterns are $5.00. And if you pay $5 more, I don't know if all the patterns have tutorial links, but, you know, if $5 more for the tutorial, too. They work up, you, the, the lacy blanket, Sarah, is that what you're talking about, working up quick? Oh, Samantha, I'm sorry. You stopped driving and it broke her heart because she just got her a new... New to you, Mustang, that now you can't drive. I'm sorry, sweetie. Hey, Sandy Lillard. I'm glad you came. I want, Sandy, I want to let you know that I want to thank you so much for sending me a picture, uh, emailing me the picture of your little mini alpaca. Y'all, uh, Sandy, she won. Uh, I donated a little mini alpaca. Well, here you go. Here's Albert. It's one like this, but the one Cindy won, I think it's called Mocha. Uh, and these are made by Encari. They're out of uh, the Netherlands, I think. And I'm not affiliated. Um, but I guess I'm affiliated with Susan. <laughs> She's my friend. <laughs> but I'm not affiliated with Encari. But I did donate one of these as a prize for uh, our gifts of love. And Cindy won one. She won the mocha one. And she got it, and she sent me a picture of him. Okay, Cindy, so I wanted to let you know that, yes, I had the same problem with my cat. <laughs> Cindy had to put hers out of the reach of her kittens. <laughs> now, they're pro if they're kittens, they're much younger than my 11-year-old man cat. But he wanted to clean Albert. He just licked and licked and licked. <laughs> I'm like, nope, you can't clean Albert. He's just fine. <laughs> oh, Samantha, that's sweet. Caramel. Yeah, caramel. They didn't have any more of these when I bought those last two. They had a caramel and a mocha, I think. Hey, Emma. Thank you. He's very soft. Well, I ain't got my kitty. I got my Albert here. Yeah, your dogs would shred him. <laughs> Five months old. Yeah, they wanted to play. Maxie just wanted to clean. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming. Don't forget the thumbs, please. <laughs> my voice is cracking. But... Cindy, you probably have a little uh, pet brush just to tease them out a little bit. I hadn't brushed them since I first brushed them when I got them. A good shake or two works good, too. He's very soft. <laughs> well, congratulations. Oh. And I also, what, oh, D, she also she put some more goodies in there. So heavy. Why is this bag so heavy? D put some more goodies in here and the box that she sent me with that yarn. If I can find them. I have one complaint about this yarn, y'all. This yarn 
should be put on a cone like cotton's put on a cone. It's only one weight. It should be, in my opinion, it should be put on a cone or a spool or hanked. Even hanked would be better than this because of this. <laughs> now, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind yarn barf. I really don't. But when it's a one weight and it ain't much more than string, hmm, that did test my patience. Because <laughs> I wanted to get going. I wanted to get going with the show. <laughs> it was awful. I spent all of these live last night trying to get nuts out. <sighs> oh, Karen. You made it. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> How are you? Thank you for coming, Karen. That yarn addict. All uh, right, Cindy. <laughs> I know, Lisa, you've struggled with this stuff, too. I ended up breaking out the scissors. I'm like, I, mm -mm, nope, nope. Yeah, summer nights. <laughs> Put it on a paper towel roll or some kind of spool before you mess with it. Just do it that way and feed it from the outside. Hey, Gracie! Thank you for coming, Gracie! Yep, summer nights. But it's it's beautiful. The, I mean, you know, it's worth it. I just have to put on my big girl panties and hush about it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just saying it'd be a lot easier. I need to see if I can find a paper towel holder or something like that. You know, Karen bought some of those things. Where'd you buy them, Karen? Them little, them where you can stick your yarn on there and it goes round and round. Oh, yes, I love it too. Karen, you didn't see my, my shawl I started. I mixed this chains fun, drab looking gray with this summer nights and look how it's come out. I like it. I've never made a triangle shawl. I really like it. It's addictive to me. Yeah, like a paper towel holder. Maybe I can just go to Walmart and find something cheap. I don't have a paper towel holder in my house. I just set the paper towels on the counter. <laughs> Michael's is where you got it. Thank you. You know what? Before I forget it. Jeez Louise, it's 438 Eastern. <laughs> Before I forget, y'all, go over to last week's, if you haven't already, and if you're interested, go over to last week's live. What was it called? What's up? Come and chat or something. Shoot, let me look. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, mm. What's up? Let's chat. That's what it's called. What's up? Let's chat. So if you'll go over there, if you're interested, you can make a comment. Let me know that you'd like to be entered in the giveaway because today we're going to draw a winner for four of these cute little dollop yarn bee things. And this is 45 cotton and 55 acrylic. It's a four weight. And the color is Sunrise Sprinkles. It's a little bit of yellow, pale pink. Dusty rose and a cream color, and there are four of them. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Okay, and not only that, you'll get this cute little uh, message book, which is loaded with sticky notes and a notepad. And I added a little magnetic bookmark that is a llama. Llama, llama. Oh, it's a llama shopping cart. Or an alpaca. I can't tell which. Anyway. <laughs> with yarn in it. We're familiar with those, aren't we? Shopping carts full of yarn. And. A notions bag. Alpaca my bag. With a little tassel. And a matching. Water bottle. So if you think you might be interested in those things. Go over there and leave me a comment that you want to enter. 
before I draw, because I'll draw in just a few. We'll do this in just a few minutes. Time flies when you're having fun, don't it? Vine Stitches is here. Hey, what's up? Um, I have a question. Marsha, is that right? Blind Stitches, is, is Marsha your name? Am I remembering that correctly? What? Okay, Lisa. Now, you know what I remember? She should... I remembered Granny D last week, accident, was it last week that Granny D got her shot and she was at the doctor getting her shot and she accidentally hid Lisa. Now, does anybody know what I have to do to unhide Lisa? I mean, not Lisa, Kim, that gummit. Marsha, I remember. <laughs> Yay. I have a question, Marsha. I'm sorry. Now, I haven't looked at your video about the challenge, but it's interesting to me. Is there a time limit to do the challenge? I will come look. I will come look. I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. How's that? That's the only way I remember anything. Write it down. Lisa, please text Kim back. I will look and see. I don't know. Um, I wonder if... No, I probably can't. I probably have to do it on my computer. I'm on a, well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, Marsha. I'm going to do it. And I'll find, I can find out more, more details by looking at your video, right? I will do that. Because I'm kind of thinking... Do I have to start from scratch or can I start on something that I've um, already, can I do it with something I've already started? It'd be much harder to start from scratch. <laughs> Can't you tell? I'm always looking for the easy way out. Can I go into my settings from here and still have you and not like lose y'all? Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy, can I do that while I'm doing a live? Hey, Christy. You got your shirt already. All right. Now, Christy won the, uh, the uh, Yarnologist t-shirt from two weeks ago and she, she got it today. Yay. Okay, so I definitely have to go to, I don't think I can do this while I'm in here. Okay, please tell, uh, Lisa, if you don't mind, please tell Kim that I, and as soon as this is over, I'm going to go in my settings and, and make, and fix it. Okay, I hope, I, I hope I can fix it. I hope I can find it out. Um, I'm so sorry, Kim. Kim's crocheting knits. Let me make sure. Okay. I wrote it down so I'll remember to go in there. But I don't know how to go to do that without losing y'all or losing chat and everything. Okay. All right. I think that's a fantastic challenge and I'm going to do it. I actually have a a sleep mask that I'm going to use. Marsh. Hey, Brenda. Him, Kim can hear. She just, she just can't respond. I'm so sorry. I know. Okay. Let me, let me look and see if I lose you guys. Thank you, Laura Lee. I, I probably can. And I guess y'all can still see me and hear me. It's just, it's hard for me to reach. Okay. 
I tell too far away from me. Okay, so I'm going to go to my YouTube studio. And I'm going to go to settings. And channel. Advanced. Nope. Okay. It's not general. Community, maybe? Okay, there's my moderators. Approved users. Hidden you. Well, okay, gotcha. Remove Kim from there. Yeah, I got hot girls videos hidden. <laughs> All right, let me save it. Try it now. Try it now and see if it works. Oh, if it works, I'm going to be... Kim, try it now. Laura Lee, you told me to do it in another tab. Sometimes I panic when it's technology related. <laughs> Kim, try it now and see if it works. Oh, my gosh. Brenda's doing dishes. I pity. I pity the fool that does the dishes. <laughs> It's not a fool. You got to do dishes. <laughs> oh, I hope Kim can do it now. She's not gone already. I just removed her from the blocked section. And I hit save. So let's hope. Yay! I did something. I did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I'm sorry, Kim. Granny, sorry too. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Kim. <laughs> Thank you for waiting up backstage, Kim. <laughs> oh man. Woo, low. Okay, did y'all go? Uh, <laughs> Yes, Lisa did help out. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have never even thought to look there if Lisa hadn't, you know, well, let's see. Kathy told me to look there, but Lisa told me there was a problem, so I would not have even known. So, yes, thank you all for your help. All right. You boo-boo accidentally so easily in painting the arch to fix... Actually, it wasn't that bad. Of, it wasn't that bad of a pain in the arch. Once you once you get used to doing it, I guess I've been in there before looking at who's moderators, but I never, you know what I mean. I never scrolled down to see who was blocked. Anywho, okay, we got that done. Now I've learned something new. This is good. All right, where am I going? I'm going to the random comment picker thingy. Okay, and then I'm going to share or to copy that link. Okay, are you guys ready? <laughs> All right. Copy and paste. Let's see who's going to get these cute little bonbons and water bottle. And Notions bag. Get YouTube comments. I know there's not a lot, but you know. Yeah, I agree, D. They should put an option for us to unhide folks. And you know what? Seemed like it was yesterday. Somebody accidentally hid somebody and I unhid them. And usually you don't have the option to unhide them. But when I went to those three dots, uh, I think you just got to catch it like super fast because I went right away to those three dots and clicked unhide from channel. But I think if you wait too long, you're, you're hidden. Okay. 22 comments. Are we ready? Oh, who's going to win? Oh, oh, and it's a glare. Who is it? It's Lisa the Grammy. Lisa the Grammy. I don't know if Lisa the Grammy's here. Lisa the Grammy, are you listening? If not, maybe you'd be listening to the to the uh, replay. Anyway, she said, sure, I want to enter. 
<laughs> I love crocheting and just trying to chill. Have a great day. <laughs> Congratulations, Lisa the Grammy. <laughs> so, Lisa the Grammy, please, I hope you're listening. Please send me uh, your mailing address and you can email me and my email is in the description box down below it's the crotchety clogger at gmail.com congratulations lisa grammy lisa the grammy so email me and i'll ship it off to you to it's sweet it might be monday anyway lisa your water bottle four little dollops and an out out pack of my bag notions is that everything? I believe that's everything. Oh, and this book. <laughs> what else we got? Would y'all like to have another little, little, uh, you know, another little something? Well, we all learned something, right? We know now where to go. YouTube Studio settings. Then I forgot. Not general, but advanced settings, right? No, community, community, community. Yep. Okay, now we know. You know, the learning techno technological stuff on computers is really much, uh, for me, it's been trial and error. It's just trial and error, you know. Just remember, undo is your friend. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up. I'm going to have to look that up, Marsha. Lisa the granny. Whoop, whoop. Hey, y'all want, want to win something else, maybe? I mean, you know what I mean. Would you like to see what might be in your uh, life soon if you want it? So, I'll show you. Because I appreciate y'all coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let me start with this. It's a, it's a, you know, another notebook. Oh, yeah, Kim. Trial and error is the best way to learn. Because when you make a mistake, you learn from it, right? <laughs> okay, so this is Projects in Progress notebook. And I put a little uh, magnetic bookmark up here. These are pretty cool. This says, hello, love. Talking to a ball of yarn. These are pretty cool. I've never used these before. Anyway. Oh, my. This is pretty cool. Yarn weight and gauge page. And the recommended sizes of hooks and such. Hmm. Steel crochet hooks. Oh, this is very interesting. You have reference guides here. Oh, and then you have... Oh, it's fill in the blank. Your project number, the size, the yarn weight, all the info you need. A place to put a picture if you want and graph paper on the other side in case you're doing any graphs. That's pretty cool. I like that. I hope I kept myself one of these. Oh, and then there's more pages that are dots. Never used a note, but uh, can y'all see the dots? Y'all can see the dots. Anyway, that's pretty cool. The uh, project, I've never had one this, you know, intricate. I just use a notebook. <laughs> okay, and along with the uh, notebook, you, you can't go without pencils. Is anybody like me? You just, you, I don't like using the ink pen. Because if I make a boo-boo, I've got to erase it. Anyway, these are cute. They're the little mechanical pencils. And they have little llamas on them and balls of yarn. Oh, and there's a llama in a in a uh, hot air balloon, which is really a ball of yarn. That's cute. Four cute little pencils and the lid. Hey, Zach's in the house. What else do we got? Oh, oh, and we got a bookmark. This is how I roll. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is how I roll a ball of yarn. Pair of socks. Check it out. Pair of socks. 
Yes, Hobby Lobby clearance, y'all. Hobby Lobby clearance. Parallel short socks. Ain't they cute? You have to keep your feet together constantly in order to get the full picture. <laughs> and last but not least, one, two, three, four, five, six balls of cotton. Just cotton. But actually, it's not just cotton. <laughs> Because it's 15% polyester. <laughs> How can they call this just cotton when there's 15% polyester? <laughs> anyway, 85 cotton, 15 poly. It's a four. And by Premier, Dollar Store, y'all. Dollar Tree. Sorry, Dollar Tree. Uh, it's a four weight. And this color is called guava. Sort of a pinkish orangey. Orangey pink. Well, I'm sorry it's blowing. It's my fan. I had to turn the air conditioner off because it, it's super duper. It roars, you know. And so I turned that off and then I got to turn the fan on. I love cotton too. I don't think anyone loves cotton as much as that addict Karen loves cotton. <laughs> what Miss Karen say? What a miss? What a miss? What a miss? Anyway, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Y'all believe me, there's six. Six of them. That makes something nice and bright and pretty, wouldn't it? Some kitchen items or some bath. Oh, I forgot. And another water bottle. <laughs> this one says, no skein, no gain. And we got this llama here lifting up a three-pound skein of yarn. Three-pound skein of yarn. Look at that. Can y'all see? <laughs> no skein, no gain. <laughs> Both sides. How cool is that? So, yeah, that's a, that's a bunch of little goodies. I like cotton, too. Thank you, Samantha. A bagel. You're making me hungry. Don't talk food. You're making me hungry. I'm eating some grapes. Oh, Zach, that's very nice and healthy. Good for you. <laughs> and then Samantha brings up bagels. Well, you can't have a bagel without cream cheese and locks, right? Red Heart Super Saver. I have nothing against that either, Marsha. I, I actually have made quite a few things with Red Heart. I like Red Heart Super Saver. And you know when they accident, I think it was a boo-boo a few months ago when they had um, they had their uh, big jumbo Super Savers on sale for 49 cents. I don't think that was supposed to have happened, but I went and I hoarded up all I could get of it. Laura Lee had to go fix the water, but she's back. Y'all, I cannot believe how time flies. And I was going to show you what Sweet Tea sent me, too. And it's already 5 o'clock almost. And Madonna sent me a card. Look what Madonna sent me. It made my day. I got this card from Madonna, and I got a big package from Sweet Tea of things that Sweet Tea made um, for me to donate to the Baptist Children's Home here in my hometown. And uh, it just made my day. Y'all ever have, you know, I don't work on Mondays anymore, but you know what? I think Mondays are dull days or drum days, doldrum days. Whether you're working on Mondays or not. Monday, Monday. The shirt fits like a dream, Christy. Woohoo! Send me a picture. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I like, you know, because, you know, t-shirts that have that little bit of fitted. I used to always get the anvil shirts. Remember those? I'm sure they still have them. Or they still make them. Anvil. The extra larges and anvils don't fit me. They're too small. And I hate to think, gosh, I'm all that big. You know, sizes and patterns are awful. They're just not 
they should be consistent and they're not but these shirts from hobby lobby the extra large is an extra large and and yeah i ain't got a little bit of room in the ones in the one i kept that's good i'll have to look and see what the maker is i don't remember sharp cheddar and butter on that oh you're making me hungry samantha <laughs> the banana mama and the papas monday monday super saver sale laura lee i got plenty of it you want some just let me know <laughs> i'll send you some i got red i got camouflage got whites and off whites They fit your girls wonderful. Wait a minute now, Christy. You done had to give up some nails. Oh, you mean the anvil ones? Yeah, they're, I think they're made more for teenagers. But anyway, it's Madonna's card says, we may have to be distant right now, but you're right here in my heart. What well, that's weird. I didn't love it. And she sent me. She's, where are they? Where'd they go? She sent me. Oh, yeah, she sent me she sent me some of her stitch markers, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm very proud. I'm very proud to have a card and stitch markers from Lady Madonna. I hope she don't mind me calling her that. Her booby girls. Oh, those girls! They fit your girls, I see. <laughs> AJ, are you still here? <laughs> Poor AJ. <laughs> Not if I could quit snorting, it'd be all good, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, I got enough of that. Let me show you real quick. Unless y'all need to go, y'all go. I ain't going to hold you, but... But Sweet Tea sent me some things. I did do a video, and you can go back and look at the video, but it's not for you to look at them right now. She sent me a bunch of things for the children's home. And she told me I could keep some, too. And I'm going to keep two things. But she sent me three sets of these beautiful V-neck scarves. Isn't that pretty? And this is some soft stuff. Three sets of scarves and hats like this. Isn't that cute? Love it. And I was telling T, too, if you sew up the inside, like right here on the inside, if you sew that up, you'd have a little pocket there for your cell phone or something. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> so there was three sets of those. Oh, let me show you this one with this pretty border, too. we got to show the different borders. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And, oh, oh my goodness, she sent all kinds of stuff. She made out. These are the two I'm going to keep. Look at that pretty trivet. And it's double-stranded cotton yarn, so so be good for a hot pot. I, I'm keeping, I'm keeping. And look at this, double-stranded pot holder, double, you know, sided too. See, I still need to learn how to make these. She does make pretty things. I'm keeping that one. That's what I'm keeping. Look at these washcloths, y'all. This came from a little dollop, didn't it, sweet tea? Ain't that pretty? Look. Look at this pretty, that stitches. Let me show you this one. Because you can see the stitches better on that blue. Teresa does so good. Here's another big, pretty, double-sided, double-stranded hot pad. Pot holder. Here's another pretty round one. Here's another pretty round one. Aren't they pretty? Oh, and some little soap savers. Soap pouches. I'm gonna have to make another one. Okay, wait. I'm not done. I'm not done. We still got washcloths to go. Oh, here's another soapy. 
soap holder pouchy. Save that for last. That's my favorite. And scrub. No, this is a. Yeah, I guess that is a scrubby. It's got scrubby stuff for washcloth. You know, scrubby yarn. Look at that pretty stitch. All these, you know, they can really use this stuff. They said over at the children's home that they really run through washcloths and wash rags really fast. I bet they do. And they probably order, you know, your regular hotel quality there with some scrubbies. Here's another one with the scrubby. Here's another one. I love it. Here's, here's the... Look at this little hat. Look at this little hat. Isn't that cute? And I looked her up today, Teresa. It's Olga Paltova. I thought it was Paklova, but it's Olga Paltova. P-A-L-T-O-V-A. -A. Isn't that pretty? For a little one. Oh, I just love it. It's too small for you, hush. Can't have it. She is. She can whip them out. She can whip them, whip them, whip them out. They're scrubbing cleaning cloths like these. I so appreciate it too, sweet tea. Thank you. I'm getting a pretty good uh, between the baby blanket I made and the uh, the. I'm gonna put put the moss stitch hat. I'm going to put that hat in the box. Yeah, it's not going to stay on your head. Uh, in the box for the children's home. I'm going to put that in the box too. Well, I got all my blue hats in the same box. I'll have to take them out. She is a fast crocheter. She can whip them out. And you know what? She's really smart too because when she does a new pattern, she makes more than just one. And I'm, you know, so... She might make a dozen of whatever the pattern is. And because then, and that's smart because then she knows how to do it. She knows how to do it. And if she wanted to do it, she wouldn't need no help, no nothing. She'd just do it. And I'm not like that. I can't. I got to go on to something new because I just want to do something else. It's not that I get bored with a pattern. I just want to do something else. I don't know how to explain it. I think Lisa knows where I'm coming from. We want to do all the things. <laughs> and I feel like there's not enough time in my life to do them all. And I want to do. Anyway, Teresa sent me loads of stuff. And y'all, it's not just a children's home. They have so many ministries. They have a ministry for... Um, uh, <laughs> for young moms with children that they have a ministry for, for moms with babies. Um, they have a ministry for uh, children, you know, without parents and uh, bye Elaine. I know I'm going over time, uh, but thank you so much for coming Elaine. Well, I can't, I can't have too many whips either. Cause then I get stressed out Samantha. But, at any rate, I need a lot of arms like Apollo. Don't all we? We all do. We all do. <laughs> we all do. Sometimes I wish. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. And that's not even all of it. <laughs> Thank you, sweet tea. Oh, there's, there's only one hat that was missing. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I sound like an idiot. Oh, y'all, I am an idiot. <sighs> well, I guess it's about time to go. It's past time to go. If you're still here and you still need to give me a thummy, please do so. Or on your way out. I'd appreciate it. Yes. I'm. Well, I'm going to keep one. She told me I could keep a couple of things. So I'm going to keep one of the round trivets and one of the pot holders. Yeah, I'm going to send it all to the Baptist Children's Home. Teresa does. She loves crocheting. 
I know, right, Karen? I can't do it either. But I do have, actually, I have two whips. I have a hat that I was making for him. I was making a beret for him, and I hadn't touched it in a month. And it's just a silly hat. <laughs> and then I also have a, a asymmetrical shawl that's on my hook. But I just started doing this last night, and I'm like, I'm not going to stop because this has just, I love this pattern. It's fun. It's so fun. Okay. Y'all don't forget to comment in the comment section below when this uploads. Not in here, but in the comment section below for our giveaway for today. Remember, a water bottle. No skein, no gain, says that llama who's lifting a three-pound ball of yarn. Some little sockies. Some pencils. A bookmark. Project notebook. And six skeins of guava colored just cotton, which is not just cotton because it's got, what did I say? 15% polyester in it. <laughs> Thank you, D. Oh, the shawl pattern, Judy, is uh, the Man Made Paradise shawl from Bag a Day, and it is number 641. Dan and Joe come on at 5.30 for the making meet. All right. Thank you guys for coming. I sure did enjoy it. Bye. Love y'all. Oh, wait. I forgot to do my quote. Oh, we'll do it next week. Bye, everybody.